Day 4, problem number 4. In the series of spot problems. And uh, today we're going to look at another problem that deals with projectile motion. And in this uh, case, you have an airplane uh, flying at a height of 1,000 meters from the ground. It's a bomber jet plane. And when flying at this height of uh, 1,000 meters from the ground, it drops or intends, the pilot intends to drop an drop a bomb uh, to hit a target that is well ahead and the target is somewhere here. Uh, let's say that the plane is flying at 720 kilometers per hour and flying horizontally right parallel to the ground and we have to find out what is the distance of the bomber from the target when the pilot drops the bomb? So we got to figure out this distance, which is the distance that the bomb travels horizontally. Now, in order to do that, first we have to find out the time that the bomb takes to to move along this path. And to do that, the most important thing to remember is that because the bomber is flying horizontally, its initial vertical velocity is zero. Although it's Horizontal velocity is 720 kilometers per hour. It's not moving vertically. Therefore, its initial vertical velocity, VOY, is zero. That's the most important point. And acceleration is 9.8 meter per second squared. We're trying to find out, or we know delta Y is 1,000 meter. And we're trying to find out the time that it takes. When you look at these four qualities, the equation that could be used is delta y is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. So delta y is v naught t plus one half a t squared, and we know that because this term is zero, v naught is zero. This whole term is going to be zero. So you have 1,000 is 1 half times 9.8 times t squared. And uh, 1 half times 9.8 is 4.9. So you have 4.9 t squared. And when you rearrange, you get t is equal to square root of 1,000 divided by 4.9. And on calculating this, you get 14.3 seconds. Now, we got to figure out what delta x is. And remember that the horizontal velocity never changes because the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational force rather does not act on it. And we're not considering air resistance, remember. So the horizontal velocity is a constant and therefore to find the horizontal displacement you just multiply that constant velocity with the time but it's in the wrong units it cannot be in kilometers per hour we need to change it into meter per second and at one kilometer is a thousand meters so multiply it by thousand and one hour is 3600 seconds. On doing that you get 200 meter per second and then to find delta x multiply that with the time. Now remember this equation can only be used when the velocity is constant and in this particular case 
the horizontal velocity is a constant. So you see that the answer is 2860 meters and so the pilot has to be really intelligent to drop the bomb uh, 2860 meters before the target. If, the, if he drops it uh, when it's right above it, it's not, never going to hit it because it's going to go 2860 meters forward. Now let's also try to find out the angle at which the bomb hits the ground. How do you find that? The angle at which it hits the ground. Now in order to figure that out, we need to remember that the horizontal velocity never changes. So whatever is the velocity here, which is 200 meter per second, will continue to be the velocity just before it hits the ground. The horizontal velocity does not change, but the initial vertical velocity, which was zero at this point, increases as it goes down, and when it reaches here, its vertical velocity becomes something. And I, instead of drawing it here, I've just drawn it here. Doesn't make a difference. So we need to find out that final vertical velocity, which is VFY. And uh, to find that, and once we find that, we know that tan theta from this little triangle here, tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. So it will be Vfx by Vfy. Now, to find Vfy, we use the equation v naught y plus at. Initial vertical velocity is 0, so plus 2.8 times 14.3. And that gives 140 meter per second. Remember that Vfx was 200 meter per second, Vfy is 140, divide, you get 1.43, take the arc tangent of that, you get 55 degrees. So the bomb hits the target uh, at making an angle of 55 degrees to the vertical. This is 55 degrees, and since we know this is 90, this is going to be 35 degrees to the horizontal. So that's how you work out this very important and smart physics problem. Thank you.